Have you ever wondered how the two popular package managers used in Debian and Red Hat distros, that is APT and TM, are different from each other? Then you're in the right place. In this video, we will explore the in-depth details of APT and TM and see what sets them apart. So let's begin. Before I delve into the differences, let's quickly understand what are APT and TM. APT, short for Advanced Package Tool, is the package manager used in Debian-based Linux distributions. It makes the use of tools to manage, update, install, and uninstall operating system packages. On the other hand, YAM or Yellowtalk Updater Modified is the go-to package manager for Red Hat-based Linux distributions. It facilitates the installation, updating, removal, and management of dependencies on a system. Now let's look into some significant differences between APT and YAM. APT utilizes DEP files, is prevalent in Debian and Ubuntu-based distros, and organized into functional groups. It comes with fewer commands than YAM and emphasizes on online repositories. It does not allow installing local files without prepends. YAM, on the other hand, is prevalent in Red Hat-based distributions, uses RPM files, and grouped into global and repository-specific sections. It has more options for searching and managing packages, and unlike APT, YAM allows the package installation directly from local files. Moreover, while APT uses multiple passes to resolve dependencies, YAM uses a single pass for this purpose. Let's go through the process of managing packages and repositories with YAM. Open your terminal. Now, if you're on a Red Hat system and need to find a package, the yum search command is your go-to tool. Let's say we are looking for PostgreSQL. Provide the user password. From the output, you can see how the command quickly locates all the packages regarding PostgreSQL. In Red Hat distros, keep your system up to date with this command. Enter the password again. Press Y to confirm. This command not only updates your packages, but also handles the upgrade seamlessly. And need to get rid of a package? Here's the command to remove it. Provide the password. Now press Y to continue the process. And that's it. The package is removed. So when you're working, just replace PostgreSQL 16 as I demonstrated here with the package you want to say goodbye to. Now let's dive into handling repositories. First up, let's check the repository list. Provide the password. The command here will provide an overview of available repositories on your system. To add a new repository, you will need the yum utils package. If you don't have it pre-installed in your system, you can add it using this command. Provide the password. Now that you have the necessary tool, you can add a repository using the yum config manager command. Here's an example of adding the Docker repository. As shown, the new repository is now seamlessly added to my directory. But what if you want to disable a repository? Don't worry, let me show you how you can do it. First, it's important to check the repository list. After going through the list, I have decided that I want to disable the Docker repository that I just added, and right now it is in enabled state. So now I will run this command. Enter the password again. To make sure that it is actually inactive, I will check the repository list again. Enter the password. And you can see on my screen, that Docker is now marked as disabled. Now let's switch gears and explore how to manage packages and repositories using APT. First, open up the terminal. 
and let's talk about searching for packages with APT. Here's how you can do it. In this example, I'm searching for the ZFS package. Enter the password of your user. The command here provides a list of packages matching your search criteria, that is ZFS in this case, and making it simple to find what you need. Now let's see how to update installed packages with APT. This command will fetch the latest information about available packages and update your local package database. And if you want to remove any package, you can use the following command. Here I'm removing the VLC media player. You can replace VLC with the name of any package you want to uninstall and APT will take care of removing the package and any unnecessary dependencies. Press Y to continue the process. Next, let's go through the process of adding and removing a repository. Adding a repository involves two steps. First, you need to add the repository's GPG key to verify the authenticity of the packages. This command retrieves the GPG key and adds it to the system. The OK message at the end indicates that it is done successfully. And here the command downloads the GPG or GNU Privacy Guard key from the specified URL using wget and then adds the key to the apt key ring using apt key. After that, install the repository with this command. This example adds the Opera browser repository. You can replace the URL with the repository of your choice. Press enter to continue. If you want to remove a repository, you can use this syntax. This command will remove the repository added in the previous step. Once again, press enter to continue. Now let's break down the pros and cons of both APT and YAM. First, APT has a faster package management system with a user-friendly interface. Its spinning feature allows users to revert package upgrades. It autonomously resolves dependencies and has powerful search and filtering options. However, it is not compatible with RPM systems and has a limited number of repositories compared to YUM. And without manual intervention, APT struggles to remove old package versions. YUM, on the other hand, has an extensive repository support with easy customization options. It automatically resolves dependencies and supports a robust set of plugins. But it is not compatible with Debian-based distributions and cannot revert upgrades. It is also slow in both downloading and updating packages. Now, why should you prefer YUM over APT? First, YUM takes the lead with its advanced dependency-solving algorithm. Imagine you have a package with complex dependencies. YUM's advanced algorithm will resolve them and ensure a hassle-free installation process. YUM has a versatile plugin system. A plugin is a component that enhances the functionality of a software application by adding specific features. This enhances the package management experience, providing users with flexibility and customization options. And YUM shows remarkable flexibility when it comes to handling packages. It stands out by allowing the use of multiple repositories at the same time. Conversely, here are some advantages of APT over YUM. APT stands out for its simplicity and user-friendly interface. It requires less initial configuration compared to YUM. APT supports multiple architectures, which means you can easily install packages on multiple architectures from a single repository. Moreover, APT has a pinning feature that allows users to revert upgrades. So if you want to maintain an installed package at a specific version or prevent it from automatically upgrading to a newer version, APT will provide you the tools to make that happen. Despite having so many differences, APT and YUM share some common ground. Both of them can install, download, update, and remove packages with a single command. Both package managers excel in resolving dependencies, 
and rely on repositories for a centralized location for users to access and manage their packages. In conclusion, comparing APT and YUM comes down to personal preference and the distribution you're using. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses. So whether you're Team APT or Team YUM, it ultimately depends on what suits you the best. And don't forget to explore the commands and the article in the video description for more detailed information.